Are you committed to living your life on purpose? Are you ready to act with deliberation to take control of your life? You're in the right place. Welcome to Season 8 of Thriving Thoughts. I'm your host, Dr. Sherry. And in each five-minute episode, you'll learn one action you can take right now to thrive through the power of intention. Today, I'm going to introduce you to a superhero, a superhero suspended in the back of your brain, just waiting for you to give it the fuel it needs to make you function optimally. I, with chest broad and fists on hips, am the suprachiasmatic nucleus. That's right. I control your body's circadian rhythm. I'm in charge of your hormones, your metabolism, your mood, and your sleep. We know through scientific study that sleep is the singular human function that sets us up for success, physical, mental, and emotional. Sleep allows us to reset our bodies. It allows the brain to create pulses that flush out the sludge in our cerebral spinal fluid that when we're sleep deprived, builds up and blocks the brain's ability to fire as designed. And in case you didn't know, your brain is responsible for one, keeping you alive, two, regulating your emotions, and three, giving you the ability to make sound decisions to benefit you. Your brain gets the restorative sleep it needs through the signal of the SCN, the suprachiasmatic nucleus. How does it do that exactly? Well, through the most natural brain medicine and treatment we know of, yet sadly minimize its importance, light. Light, L-I-G-H-T. According to the Bible, it's the first thing God created. We speak of light in terms of its salvation, like as in a light at the end of the tunnel, a beacon of light in a hopeless situation. Light is healing. But perhaps the literal healing nature of light in our ability to thrive as humans has gotten lost in our figurative referral to its benefits. Even individuals who struggle with seasonal effective fluctuations, I do, for example, when there's less light, I tend to fight harder to feel more energized, motivated, and emotionally hopeful. Light boxes have been used to stimulate natural light. It is natural light that is the lighthouse to the SCN, informing it when to produce alertness and when to produce restorative rest. That's why your intentional act today is super simple yet super critical. And all you have to do is use the medicine already available to you every day without fail and the best part, for free. Research has shown that harnessing natural light in the morning hours boosts vitamin D levels, fortifies our natural circadian rhythms and sleep patterns, heightens our ability to focus, making us more productive, and makes us feel happier. Your act today is to access the best medicine known to mankind, light. And here's what that might look like for you. Number one, wake up with the natural light when possible. Daylight savings time has really messed with our body's natural desire to wake and sleep with the light. Begin by setting your alarm clock for sunrise time in your location. Don't worry, if you have to wake earlier, you can still take advantage of light's health benefits. Number two, put your face to the sun for 10 minutes every morning. You might say, I don't have time for that, to which I'll say, you cannot afford not to have time for that. Your body needs it to function optimally. And if you say you want your life to be better, that you want to be healthier and happier, then the evidence of that is your commitment to acting with intention to evidence that light works. You might sit by an east-facing window to read or journal. You might sit outside, close your eyes, set your face to the sun, and think about all the things for which you are grateful. Number three, use natural lighting over fluorescent lighting wherever possible. Fluorescent lighting has been associated with migraine headaches and eye strain-induced fatigue. Access the natural light available to you. We'll talk next time about how to turn off that light because inviting it into your eyesight in the morning is only part of the successful recipe for your superhero, the SCN, to do its job. How will your life change if you commit to this 10-minute practice every morning? If instead of pulling the blackout curtains across the light shed by God's first created gift, you chose to open it instead? Do you want to feel happier, more focused? Do you want to set your brain up to get the restorative sleep it needs? Then soak up 10 minutes of first light every day and do it on purpose. Did you find today's episode helpful? Pay it forward by sharing with a friend. And together we will thrive through the power of intention.